Yeah, they do. I'd like to open. I'd like to open the regular meeting of the Springfield Economic Development Agency with a roll call. Uh, Board Member Van Gordon here. Board Member Pitts. Board Member Mo here. Board Member Rodley here. Board Member Stair here. Board Member Woodrow. Board Member Pissionary. And Board Member Bernie. And Board Member Pitts, I see that you are here. Very good. Um, <clears throat> as we begin our meeting tonight, I would like to ask members of the audience who are joining us by phone or online to please keep yourselves on mute until you are called to provide public testimony. There will be two times designated for public testimony this evening and will be listed as business from the audience and public hearings. If you are attending in person, please complete the request to speak card located at the entrance of the council chambers and give them to the city recorder. If you're joining us online with a tablet, smartphone, or computer and wish to speak either of those times, please reuse the raise hand feature in Zoom. Uh, next item. Oh, uh, the order of public testimony is as follows. Uh, anyone in person in the council chambers and anyone on who has raised their virtual hand. Next item, please. Uh, the next item is resolutions. Resolution number one, a resolution amending the Glenwood Urban Renewal Plan for real property acquisition. Uh, this item will need a motion and Christina Kraz is here for the staff report. Um, hello, um, board chair and board. I almost said mayor and council. Uh, the purpose of this item is to amend the Glenwood Urban Renewal Plan to add um, properties to the list in the Urban Renewal Plan of properties that CEDA may acquire. This is a component um, of maintaining the Urban Renewal Plan that keeps it updated um, over time as CEDA acquires more properties for redevelopment. We came to you last um, at the end of 2021 to add some properties that CEDA was in the process of acquiring or had acquired. And at this time, we are looking to add the remaining six tax lots that CEDA does not yet own um, that are sort of in the middle of the intended master plan area. So if you think of it, there's sort of like the hole in the donut of properties that either CEDA or the city own, or we have um, partnerships with um, private property owners or homes for good to participate in a future master plan. Adding these to the Glenwood Urban Renewal Plan requires a resolution by CETA and then co-adoption by the City Council or ratification by the City Council. It does not mandate that CETA acquire these properties or set any terms or conditions under which CETA purchases them. It's just a necessary requirement before CETA acquires them that the plan reflect that CETA may require may acquire them. Um, we have entered pursuant to council authorization at um, in your meeting in September. CETA does is under contract for purchase of three of the six tax lots and are in preliminary negotiations on the remaining three and will come to you in a future session at once we get to the point we have terms to propose um, to the CETA board. If there are any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Hearing none, um, do I hear a motion? I'll make a motion that we- Do, do we need uh, any kind of public comment on time? this? Okay, thank you, go ahead. Confused. I make a, a motion that we adopt resolution number one, the resolution, resolution amending the Glenwood Urban Renewal Plan for real property acquisition. Second that. Do we have a roll call, please? Yes, Board Member Van Gordon. Yes. Board Member Pitts. Aye. Board Member Mo. Yes. Board Member Rodley. Yes. Board Member Stair. Aye. Board Member Woodrow. Board Member Pissionary. And Board Member Bernie. Mm -hmm. All right, next item, please. Next item is business from the audience. Well, I um, have one card um, from the gallery here, um, and that card belongs to June Father Gill. Hello, everybody. June Father Gill, 317 30th Street, one of those apartment complexes. Um, 
I just want you have later on in your agenda the the possibility of having a contract for Egan Warming Center at the what we call the Memorial Building down the street. I just want to encourage you to do that, but I also encourage you to consider putting together a task force to look at uses for that building that would meet community needs um, like Egan and maybe other things or other things as well, obviously. Um, I'd be willing to serve on that. So I encourage you to do that. Thank you. Very good. Um, are there any um, hands raised online, Neil? Do not see any hands raised for this item. All right. Um, next item, please. The next item is public hearings. Um, this is public hearing number one, fiscal year 23 supplemental budget one. This is resolution number two, a resolution adjusting resources and requirements in the following funds, CETA, General, CETA Glenwood General, CETA Downtown General Fund, and CETA Glenwood Capital Fund. Uh, Nathan Bell is here for the staff report. Uh, good evening, CETA board. Uh, the item in front of you this evening is a, a request to conduct a public hearing, uh, adopting or not adopting a resolution that adjusts the resources and requirement in the CETA funds. Uh, this is the first supplemental budget of the year for uh, the Springfield Economic Development Agency. Unlike the city where we schedule regular supplemental budgets, uh, we usually typically only do so with CETA if there's a need. And the need that initiated this one is to establish uh, appropriation for the uh, borrowing that you approved a few weeks back. And I wanted to remind you too, that the borrowing and this uh, supplemental budget and appropriation it creates doesn't um, create the approval for the purchases that are planned. All those planned purchases either have come in front of you or will come in front of you uh, in the future. Any questions? So if I'm understanding this correctly, the, uh, the the money that we're approving now is not earmarked for any specific purpose, but it could be used for the. It is earmarked spending. and it's planned, but I just want to let you know that all of those planned purchases uh, and expenditures will be coming in front of you for approval if they haven't already done so. Very all good. of the money is earmarked. Thank you. Um, do I hear a motion? I make a motion that a public hearing. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a public hearing. Okay. I, yeah. I got it exactly reversed. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm sorry. I'd like to open the public hearing. Board member Stair, did you not have any cards from those? Um, no, I, I, okay. I, I've got the one card. Okay. And uh, no hands. Uh, virtually right now. Thank you. Um, so uh, I'd like to close the public hearing and I'd like to um, ask for a motion, please. I'll uh, make a motion that we uh, approve resolution number two, resolution adjusting the resources and requirements of the following funds, seat at Glenwood General, seat at Downtown General Fund, and seat at Glenwood Capital Fund. Second. Could we have a vote, please? Yes, Board Member Van Gordon. Yes. Board Member Pitts. Aye. Board Member Moe. Yes. Board Member Rodley. Yes. Board Member Stair. Aye. Board Member Woodrow. Board Member Pissionary. And Board Member Bernie. Thank you. Um, next item, please. The next item is new business. Item number one, a short-term lease for emergency warming shelter. Um, this is my item and Christina Kraz has also assisted with this. Um, I'll just start this off. The city staff contacted St. Vincent de Paul in September and asked if they had had any luck securing a location for the warming site for this uh, upcoming winter. They had not. Uh, following that conversation on October 6th, we received a letter from St. Vincent de Paul asking for use of CETA's um, property at 765 A Street, also known as the Memorial Building. So we're coming to you this evening to authorize the city manager uh, to draft and execute the short-term lease between CETA and the city of Springfield uh, for use of this building as an emergency shelter. Uh, the building was used in 2019 and 2020 uh, when it was owned by Willamette Lane, and then later in 2020 to 21 and 20 to 22 with agreements through with CETA. 
Um, as currently laid out, uh, CETA would approve the use of the building and then would execute a lease with the city. Um, the, the lease would be a temporary lease. Uh, the building was originally scheduled for uh, assistance with some future development across the street. That's the Blue McKenzie site. That was originally in 2022 and now just based on pricing and uh, inflation that's bumped out a little bit into 20 and 2023. So again, it would be just a one term, one year lease uh, for the a one season lease. Um, the folks from St. Vincent de Paul um, appreciate the opportunity. They also know that there are two dates, November 5th and November 12th, um, that had already scheduled state police training in that building. They understand that. And they also understand if they do use the building early, typically November 15th is the start of the warming season. But if they do get into the building early, um, that they would work with PD um, to make sure that the building was open on those two particular days for the training. And again, this training was previously scheduled before we knew that we would be asking to use this as a warming center. And um, Christina, if you have nothing else to add, I'll open it up for any questions. The terms of the lease agreements um, would be the same as the last uh, one-year lease, uh, we're, what we're proposing. And it was reviewed on behalf of CETA by independent legal counsel, and then I reviewed on behalf of the city. So I do want to be clear about the legal representation and potential conflicts that could arise between CETA and the city in that context. Thank you, Christina. And one last item, if CETA does approve this, um, it would go to the city council on November 7th. Any discussion or any questions? I'd, um, I'd just like to say <clears throat> that I was delighted to hear that the city was going to be um, leasing it for uh, one more season. And I, I think that building is ideal and suited for the use that we're putting it to. Um, can I have a motion? I make a motion we authorize the city manager to draft it and execute a short-term lease between CETA and the city of Springfield for 765 A Street. Second. Neil, uh, roll call, please. Yes, board member Van Gordon. Yes. Board member Pitts. Aye. Board member Moe. Yes. Board member Rodley. Yes. Board member Stair. Aye. Board member Woodrow. Board member Pishonary and board member Bernie. Oh, uh, next item, please. Um, those are all your items for this evening. All right. With that said, um, I declare us adjourned. Thank you. Have a good night.